There's a candle there. Can we light it? Shit. Okay, then. Jesus Christ. Jalisha. Well, hi there, cutie. Sure. My boyfriend named Bonard has gone missing. Curse this land. Curse this pit. I go onwards to the castle of the diseased one, Sir Garrett. Oh, jeez. We killed him. Oh, shit. What's happening? Okay, we reorganized our thing so that we now have mana potions on our bar for whenever we run into, like, bosses like that. And, uh, we're gonna go back, save, and then we will probably explore the Fetid Mire just a little bit more before heading back into the fucking Blood Ocean. Because I definitely felt like we... We didn't really have enough damage to deal with that creature. Not properly, at least. Since we're going to be saving anyways, we might honestly just... Kill some extra creatures here. Get some levels, you know. Get just a little stronger. There's the door to our slime girlfriend. Friend that is a girl and a slime. Not don't, don't get that one twisted. Boys can be friends of slimes. Okay, I was fighting some of the slimes and I took another point of damage. So at this point, I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave. Be very unfortunate if I were to get myself killed. Okay, so we're going to go back to Wing's Rest. Um, maybe make some purchases real quick, but we're also going to save and level up before we leave here. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Oh, uh, Demi has new stuff to say to us. Isn't it pretty here? Yeah. I don't feel like I need to escape to the overworld, as long as, as, long as peaceful places like this exist. But I still want to help those who do. Be safe. Mm, thanks, Demi. You're a treat. Um, we still don't have enough for the crossbow, but I'm going to buy... Can I not? Oh, here we go. Purchase. Two health files real quick. Just because um, as much as I hate to waste our money like that, um, we we kind of need them. Um, we have th three level ups and nine skill points. Wow. Okay. Um, so how do we increase our damage? Strength says damage done with melee weapons. Defense is health and how much can be blocked before my guard's broken. So defense is still going to be a very high one for us. Speed is only running speed. Dex is only ranged weapons. So we actually need some points in strength because we are enjoying our melee weapons, right? Um, we're going to take some more points in intelligence because uh, we do like that. And resistance is how long stats effects take to wear off. Okay. Um, I think for the time being, we're going to focus heavily on int speed. I'm probably going to record for a little while here, and I will probably just break this up into 45-minute segments. But I'm enjoying the game enough right now, and I keep getting lost whenever I take a break from the game, so I think I'm just going to record really long segments. And I might even cut this statement out, so who knows. You know, I'm just going to check real quick, but we actually never investigated this door earlier. River Passage. Okay. So we actually saw the other side of the River Passage um, later. So we might be able to do something with that. We're already doing a lot more damage with our melee weapon now that we've actually put some points into strength. Not enough to reduce the number of hits it takes to kill a slime, though. So it wasn't actually a uh, effective level up yet, as it were. Our uh, fire spell charges about instantly now, though. I'm curious how you did experience. Is it just from using abilities and using spells, or is there other ways to gain experience? Um, I'm curious about that. We're going to not take the shortcut because I want to remind myself what's over here. I do feel like we need some level ups. Is this a secret? This wall looks weird. The textures were weird. If I'm, if I'm not moving forward, I don't lunge as far. There is... It doesn't seem like it at first. It felt like it was just bashing your head into things. But there is actually some tech to stuff here. There's some there's some technique to how to use weapons and such. 
I wonder. This might get us killed, but we haven't really done anything. Oh, we just barely made it. Fuck yes. How sickly sweet candy melts. My viscous strawberry dewdrop. My love for you was ever porous. And alas, it has been drained. My heart has found another. Our bony fingers clutch each other. Well, I know what happened to Boner now, apparently. Ah! Oh, Jesus. I almost died from that. Let's see what she has to say about this. Fortunately, her bonard has found another. I am disappointed in ourselves that we instantaneously used our healing potion. We're going to need to get a lot more money. Did you find anything? Uh, oh, that sucks. Well, hey, you're not single, are you? Just keep me in mind, will you? Here, take this for your trouble, Judy. Okay. We got a new spell from her. Slime Orb. Fires an orb of slime that does poison damage. Given as a gift by your adoring girlfriend, Jellisha. Okay. You know, we've been forgetting to use uh, Lethomancy on things. I feel like I almost predicted that one. Yep. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to say about that. But hey, at least we found it. Um, I guess that's a check mark of, of sorts. I wonder if there's mana regeneration at some point. Like actual proper mana regeneration. Okay. We went that way. No, we went that way last time. Let's go this way. We're just exploring. Okay, there's a hallway there. Actually, I think this is the area that leads back up where the slime skeletons are. Is this... And then this is Lake of Blood. Okay. So Lake of Blood is north. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Underworks might be what we try and go for then. I should stop wasting mana. Here's the sign for the Underworks. A very large empty room. Hmm. I remember now why we left this area last time. It's because there's more of those poison assholes here. Ooh. Some lore here. Head of a statue of some regard. I'm glad that these guys don't poison me on touch. Because they're already very hard to deal with. Okay, hey, there's something over there to the left. We're in a proper sewer level now. Okay, that water's really deep. Got another antidote. Good, good, good. We have antidote in our slots. We do. I feel like it'd be very easy for something to be hidden. Oh, Rat King. I don't know if you knew, but this is actually a real thing in real life. Rats will get, like, get stuck together. some level, I feel like I've deserved this because I've killed so many rats. Oh, jeez. I'm swimming now. I can't get out. I don't like this. Okay. We need to not fall into the sewer water. I don't know what happened to me for a second there, but there was some sort of effect on my screen. Perhaps, like, I was dr drowning? I I I'm not sure. Something there. There's a rat queen now. No, 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 no. Shit. Oh, I see what's happening. So it's just like a screen effect for, hey, you're underwater. The queen is way scarier than the king. Should burn to death, right? Nice. Ooh. Why is everything in this game so fucking deadly? Jesus Christ. Like, two shots and they kill me and I'm gonna lose, like, an hour of my life every time I get killed by something. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But I also hate it. Okay, let's check out this room. Hey, it moves my aim slightly to the left. 
and the weapon is incredibly precise, which is why I keep missing. So I need to aim slightly to the right of the creature that I want to hit. This looks like a secret. It is not. Screw you. I no longer feel any mercy, any of these rats. Okay, this looks like this might have been just... Okay, this definitely is a new area. Because I would have seen the Rat Queen before. See if we can light her on fire. Oh, she's in the water. Where'd she go? Oh, she's smart! You might think this is cheese, but old school games like this kind of thrive on cheese. So... I disagree with you. It does look like the bleeding damage, like, wears off. Interesting. It's trying to just, like, the spell damage. There's something in that corpse, but the corpse is currently a pile of fire, so I kind of don't want to touch it yet. Oh. Uh, ten coins. Uh, nice, I guess. You know, I wonder. We're going to try this real quick. I have an idea. No, we cannot use lithomancy on a corpse. Although I will say that I have enough HP now that the lithomancy isn't as dangerous for me. So we might leave it on our bar for a little while. Which also means that blood strike isn't probably isn't as dangerous for me anymore either. North side of this area. We basically headed back out. Which I'm okay actually okay with because I wanna so there's that statue, which means we need to head south. This will just help me navigate a little bit better. Okay, so north is the exit for this area. No. So let's head farther south, which should be farther in. I think that's a dead rat king, so we've been here before. Yeah, the compass just helps me not get completely freaking lost. There's that side room. It'd be nice if we could maybe not get mana regen, but like maybe a weapon that gives us mana whenever we get a hit. Well, this is obviously new. It's like we're heading back up somewhere. The music just switched to Washed Away, which I think was... We've seen this song before. Yeah, we've definitely seen this song before. But this might be leading to... Might be a shortcut to an area we've already seen. It is! It's a shortcut to the rest area in the swamps above. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Lo we'll level up real quick and then save. There's six points. We're running to a lot of poison and a lot of bleeds. So we're going to grab some resistance to reduce those. And then, of course, we'll always level up our speed and our intelligence. Now we also have... Hmm, I want to try lipomancing on a corpse as well, real quick. Nope, does nothing. Okay, so if I use a blood spell multiple times in a row, it does not, um, like, further bleed me. So that's good to know. I just can't take damage, which means that I think I might switch. And we're going to switch to blood strike. We didn't choose Vampire, but I've been liking the blood spells enough that I kind of almost regret not choosing Vampire now. So we're back down into the sewers. Um, the south is the exit. So let's head this way. There is a Rat Queen. As long as we don't get hit, this should be essentially infinite. Although... The fire spell is arguably more useful because it'll light things on fire. I'm going to change out my spells one more time real quick here. Instead of Lithomancy, we're going to take Wind Dash again. Okay, so there's some sort of barrier here. Can we swim under it? No. So there's a barrier that goes northward. Let's head uh, west here. I do wonder if there's some secret walls or something that we're missing in order to find our way further into this place. Hmm. Some suspicious walls, but no secret walls. Yeah, how do you get farther in? Is it under the water somewhere? 
I did say that it would be very easy to hide secrets under the water. I might have been spot on on that one. I also suspect that there is a secret wall here somewhere that I have definitely missed. Oh, what's that? Oh, there is secrets under the water. Uh, that's just a barrier. Do we have a breath meter? Okay. If we do have a breath meter, we're fine. Let's go and check this, because I was getting paranoid that I was going to run out of breath. Okay, so that means that I'm definitely missing some stuff under the water. Not necessarily here, but in other places for sure. There's another one here. This one actually seems to lead somewhere. It's led to more sewer. There's a dead king there. So that didn't lead anywhere new. Okay, so let's head south. That's heading more... Heading south heads more towards the back areas and like the shortcut out of here and such. So this one should be new. This might actually be the one because this is heading south and east. I hear enemies. Yep, we're beyond the wall now. Okay, well that's one of one downside of this over the fire attack. Sometimes it's just no effect. Okay. So using a super effective weapon like this against the slime or against anything is just really good because there's a skeleton right there. Is because it stuns them, so it's even more effective. Broken hilt. Oop, there's a reed there. I die in this dampened mire. My cleansing flame dried up. Okay. Broken remains of a hilt made of a dark fireproof steel. Interesting. It does like no damage. Okay. Once we're done with the stone club, leveling that up, we will definitely go to uh, leveling up the broken hilt because we're almost done. So it feels weird to switch now. Is there any secrets here? Is that really all that was here? I'm very surprised that that's all that was here. It's giving me the vibe that this area is like useless, which can't be true, right? It can't be true. There has to be something I'm missing. And then we're back at this room. Huh, maybe I haven't missed anything. And then that just leads there. Odd. Odd, odd, odd. Do we head back to the Bud Lake? Maybe check this area later when I know more about the game? That seems like a good idea. Okay, here's the entrance to the Blood Lake again. So the entrance to the Blood Lake is to the right, not the left. I'm saying it out loud with the vainglorious hope that I will actually remember that. It's not quite the right word for it, but it's close enough. Sanguine Sea. Okay, since we killed a demon last time, off to the right, I actually kind of want to go back over to the right here. Oh, look at that. That's a mirage because it just passed through the wall there. I kind of want to see what that demon may have been guarding. Perhaps nothing, but I want to check nonetheless. And there is that lunar temple. It looks like... So we'll remember this. The entry exit is to the north. The Lunar Temple is to the south. Looks like the demon wasn't guarding anything. We'll check out these pillars here first. And we'll follow this far wall here to see if we can find whatever this Lunar Temple looking thing was. We can see some fires off in the distance as well. Looks like the pillars are at the entrance of the temple. There's definitely something up there. You see it? That big-ass fucking creature is there, too. And there is a person crucified here. I would need a lot more jump to get up to that. Seems to be a lot of indications that I might want to level my jump. Another loading screen. Castle de Banu? Question mark? 
I think that font is a little hard to read. Lefanu. Okay. Great Castle of Lyria. Ophelia. Ooh, checkpoint. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You beautiful, beautiful thing. Speed and int. Oh, wait, no. Now I feel way better about exploring this area. Is that hostile? Perhaps. Okay, so fire or ice is not effective here. Dropped ectoplasm. Can I just go off the edge here? Yes. Can I go up on here? No. So lithomancy means light magic, right? So like, there's some part of me that's just very curious about how that spell can be used. But we're going to go ahead and use it here as well. I wish I could get more spell slots. But we actually do know from the keybinds that I never get more spell slots. It's going to be two till the end of the world. Hm, nope, that's nothing. We'll go ahead and change all of our spells because um, the ice spell was not doing very much here. There's a knight here. Are you a good guy? You are. Garrett the Hound. Salutation, little lamb chim. I am Sir Garrett the Hound. I'm on my way to kill the lord of the castle, but I've ran into a bit of a conundrum. I can't figure out how to open the main gates. I feel so foolish. How does it work, I wonder? So we'll try and assist you with that. So these are moon flowers. I just got a moon petal from them. We're breaking them with our club because we're never really going to use the club too much in combat. So we might as well get levels whenever we're gathering ingredients. So this is a pretty decent way of gathering ingredients as well. And I have not managed to alchemize literally anything. I don't know if that's normal, if like I've just missed a bunch of stuff. Cursed. Looks like cursed means I can't use my melee weapon. That's not good. Ooh. Castle cells. That door's red. So I need a red key? Hmm. There is a keyhole here. Uh, let's try blood magic real quick. Blood magic. Okay. I have an idea then. Before we leave this area. Is there a thingy, a receptacle for this one? I don't see one. But I was right about the lithomancy then. Because... In order to open the front door, I'm going to need to cast light magic on it. I don't see a receptacle anywhere, though. Is it above it? No. Perhaps we need to open it from the inside? I'm also curious if um, simply having opened this side door changes what this person feels like. Let's talk to him again real quick. Uh, doesn't, he doesn't seem to have any recognition for our achievements. How foolish indeed. But we are at least inside. Oh, great. The song changed to something called Guillotine. Oh, it's getting really dark. Um, as much as I hate to take off my club, I am going to pull out the Iron Torch. Always go left. We have some more blood fog here. There's blood coming down from the ceilings, too. Ooh, what's that? Spectral candle. Let's check it out real quick. An enchanted blue candle that emits a ghostly flame. People, people keeping beasts away. Ooh, uh, we're going to put that on our list. Just in case we end up needing it. We don't have much else. So... Yeah. Okay, hey, we're heading east. We came from the west. Starved Vampire Thrall. I got stuck on something. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Fucking charged us at the end there. Okay. Keep in mind, we do not have any healing, so if we get too low, we're just going to have to leave. He didn't seem to like the fire, though. Okay, we do have healing now. We're going to keep on the candle for now, though, because... Oh, these guys dodge. Die. Oh, the, re the red bones are from the vampires. The vampires are being killed down here. Interesting. Can I burn these? What the hell? Oh, I ran into a spike. Holy shit. Okay. Even though I could do that. There's a throw over there. Doesn't have a hood. Which does make them about 5% creepier. Oh, you about to charge me? Back up, back up, back up. Blood to death, or burn to death before you can charge. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I'm finding myself very happy that I leveled the torch early. Because it has become immensely useful. Before we go to exploring too much farther else... It's like there's some... Oh, shit! The blood magic heals them! Guess I shouldn't be surprised in some level. Because he was already full HP, I think I literally gave him more HP. Back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Oh! I was worried that I was running out of room on that one. Here it dashes. Okay. We're going to heal real quick. So I don't want to leave. Um, we are going to change our spells though. Uh, flame spear is good here. Okay. Before we go into that room, let's check the rest of this. You can literally melt that wall. That's a cool fucking effect. Summon ice sword. Hell yes. Read. To whoever finds me, I was at my end. I couldn't survive any longer and without transmuting myself. Take me out of this prison and you'll find I can be of service. Therian Bunch, Spell Sword of the Golden Lance. Interesting. So did he transmute himself into a ring? Is that the implication there? Okay, our rapier also does very good damage to them. In fact, I would argue that the rapier is better at damaging them than the... Uh, Torches. Do need the torch though for being able to see what the hell we're doing. No use to this room. And then this is the exit. Okay, okay. So we found we. I think we found everything here. Unless there's any secret walls that we missed, which we'll always go back and check areas later for secret walls. Um, but I don't think there were any. Let's get back to that entrance there. Oh yeah, the rapier takes him down really fast. Really, really fast. Okay. Nothing over here. Just a bunch of spikes. Check the walls real quick. The accessible ones. Oh, that guy has a weapon. Oh, I want his weapon. It made some cool sounds. Okay, now that I'm using my rapier, these guys aren't as scary. I do want to try and kill a bunch of the ones that have the weapons, though. In case they drop them. Because we did get one weapon to drop so far. I assume that there's just like a very, very low chance for things to be dropped kind of thing. Yeah, definitely kill that guy before he charges us. Not ch him charging us with a weapon would be the worst thing in the world. Okay. Vampire symbol W. We'll back up a little bit to a place that I feel a little bit more secure. And we're going to open our inventory and check that. It's not a weapon. So it looks like it must be an item then. Vampire symbol W. A brilliantly shining jewel embedded with lost tech magic. 
that grants access to White Castle doors within Loth Fanatic Castle. Oh, take that burrito. Long ago, the kingdom of um, Lyria harbored many vampiric citizens, granting them protection in exchange for their magical knowledge. We're going to put that on our bar. And I wonder if... Well, I mean, if we door the, open the door from the inside, it'll open the outside door part too, right? Because that's how doors work. It's interesting that the lore said that they gave... Oop. That was a secret. They gave harbor to vampires. Um, so I wonder if it was like a lying kind of giving harbor. Because these vampires are clearly starved and slaves. Malformed. I don't know what that means. They look similar to the um, things outside, though. Like, look at their faces. They have... Oh, they have, like, bones in them, too. The torch is, in fact, bonus damage. And it also allows me to freaking see them. Oh, they are vampires. Okay. They're malformed vampires. All oh, these poor things. This game likes to be dark. And I don't mean that just in the sense of the visual darkness. There's a lot of dark themes here, too. I would have a lot of comparison between this and Dark Souls. Just like on how you play it and how it's telling its story through environmental storytelling and what enemies are placed where, not by people just telling you things. Wand of power. Excuse me, what? It has a question mark elemental, a strange magical weapon made of several wands and holy rel relics fused together through genius or madness. Files, fires a projectile or random elements. Does it cost mana? No, it appears not. I did see a book here. They can tear me to pieces all they like, but I'll never let them have it. My holy patchwork relic. My greatest creation. Well, this thing's fun. It is a permanent range weapon. We'll use it for a little bit, see if it's any good, but we might probably switch back to the rapier because we're not... Unless it fires a light bolt, we'll probably be doing less damage, not more. Man, the amount of secrets, though. Okay. South is the way out. North should be farther in. Really? That's just a wall? Are we done here, then? Then all we need is that amulet? And we get the amulet from this jail and then just leave? It doesn't seem right to me. But that might be true. It might be true. I mean, I guess we got a bunch of things from this place. We got this wand and we got this amulet. We can head back outside and save. And we can tell the other guy that we found the amulet and the way through the front gate. Sometimes I don't see the question mark until too late, so I've just been spamming E, the interact button, along these walls. It's probably a smart method, all things considered. We don't really have much. Just thinking if there's a reason for us to go back. How much money do we have? 116 silver. There is a reason to go back. We'll go pick up one of those other weapons that we haven't tried yet. Okay. Um, He won't say anything about it, so I think we'll open the door, and then we'll talk to him. Okay, just a bunch of points into the usual stuff. Oh, we forgot to actually save. Jesus Christ, I need to be careful about that. Okay, I didn't use the item, by the way. I had it on my bar, but I didn't use it. So it I didn't actually consume it. Good to know. What? How did you do that? Well, then I'm off us, I suppose. Let us reach heaven through violence. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sounds good, I suppose. Let's take the torch off. Put our club back on until we get enough to level it. It's very close to leveling at this point. And we're going to keep the wand of power for now. Some more candy there, so I wonder if there's an NPC nearby. Because there's only been candy near the NPCs. Okay, this music switched to a track called The Hunted as soon as I walked in here. This is called a Vampire Page. Okay, so some of these elements are very effective and some of them are very much not. 
As funny as that is, I do like my rapier better. Oh, we forgot to go back to town. Let's do that real quick. Fancy new trinket. Yes. Go ahead and purchase that. And we'll buy a couple health files as well. In fact, we'll buy a couple, a couple more. Crossbow. It has weapon experience. Yeah, it just has infinite ammo. Very nice. Okay, I did go around and hit all the plants here in Wings Rest. And I believe this weapon is ready to be upgraded now. Oh, is it not? How close am I? That's weird. I th totally thought it was ready. Probably like what? There it goes. It turns a brighter blue. Enhanced weapon. Iron club. Okay. Oh, the iron club can be leveled again. Sharpened into a fearsome weapon. Interesting. Um, now that I know you can do weapons multiple times, I think I'm going to do the broken hilt next. Because I'm really fascinated by this broken hilt. We're obviously going to slowly turn it into like a real weapon, right? I also want to check. So we got that much experience. We do get more experience for doing a full swing at stuff. We're definitely going to have to do the flower leveling method to level this thing up because its range is so small. So, so small. If I didn't know about this flower leveling method, I would say that leveling up this weapon would be impossible. So thank you guys so much for giving me that tip. That was a huge tip. So I did just combine bones, ashes, and ashes, and I actually got a new item. It said a survey banner. Is that... What is that? I assume it's not a ring. I was just trying to just trying things. Survey banner. A wooden banner used by scouts to lead armies through the depths. Helps the user navigate by placing it in known locations. Uh, I don't really need that. But I like the idea of it. Oh, well, I made a mana vial. I think I actually already knew the recipe for a mana vial, ironically. I'd love to make... So I need to find Snowflake Obsidian, Arnus, and Obsidian. Because I'd love to make more of those crystals. We're going to use the crossbow for a bit here. Oh, okay. So... For these, for the crossbow... We have to hold down the aim... To get the, the hit... And if we just fire it quickly, then we don't get a good hit. It has no effects against the phantoms, but I imagine it'll have effect against the uh, vampires. And we're actually still getting experience for each hit. So I don't mind as much using it for that. Okay, so even just having that in my inventory is good enough. Good to know. Just blood fountains. Good, good. As you would expect to find, to be honest. Okay, that's on fire, so it'll just die. I'm just going to steal some experience from it. That is surprising, un uh, surprisingly ineffective. I expected that to be more effective, considering it's literally a crossbow. I doubt we could swap our weapons fast enough here. You know what? Let's try it. Ah! There we go. It's charging. Oh, Jesus. Trapped us against something. That was scary. That could have been very damaging. Very, very damaging. Oof. We're going to keep our rapier out. And we'll keep our second slot for... Oh, hey, we can break these. Oh. Well, we know what we're going to break them with. Some sort of interior passage here. Oh. Light urn. Okay. A fragile urn filled with holy lights. Typical th typically thrown at enemies. Um, Let's do it once here. Curious how damaging this is. And if you're wondering, yes, we will go back for the Dullahan at some point. God, I just ran into it. Moonlight Vial. Also new. So many new items. So many new items. Oh, the cloth bandage is new, too. Prevent excessive bleeding, restores blood, and stops current bleeding. Oh, that's nice. I thought those were just crafting items, so I was kind of ignoring them. 
A small vial of precious moonlight fully restores mana and increases lunacy, a rare item indeed often kept by the magically inclined for dire need. Okay, but they do drop from those ectoplasms. Um, so we could potentially, like, farm those, essentially. How did I take damage? I think I literally ran into the guy's sword. That's silly. Uh, the fuck is that? Apparently a great bat. Someone has taken his wings off. You know what? Fuck you. That thing sucked. What? What just damaged me? He dropped the health vial. Ooh. That's that's very valuable. Okay. Feels like a useless. Oh, can we seriously not break the chairs with this thing? It's funny, it's so little damage, it's not breaking things. A read. 17040578 MA. I write this letter fervently, my sweet Ophelia, for it presents its health that I, last living of the Fanu lying, might have finally solved my family curse. As you know, our castle has always been unnaturally attracted to the great fog beasts, and of which your annihilation I've been much affectionate. But today I have found the cause. Please return to me as you can. Justina Fanu. Interesting. So sh someone has been killing the great fog beasts, named Ophelia, and uh, Justina Fanu may have caused, found the, the source of why the great fog beasts are attacking the castle. But I kind of want to check what's up here first. There's enough blood weed in here that we're actually doing a good job, uh, Leveling this weapon here. Again, stellar tip. Absolutely stellar tip. Okay. Anything around the corners? No. I'm going to have to see if the music for Lunacy here is uh, fair use. Because some of those music would be absolutely fantastic for, like, Cataclysm and stuff like that. Okay, we'd have another read. Dear lady, I've read your words again and again, for it brings me unforeseen delight to hear that you have finally beaten your family curse. I ride now from our great battlefield on the outskirts of your estate. estates. I will have this steed fly like it never has before, but I presume the raven which brings this letter may arrive sooner. Ophelia of Lyria. So she at least got the news, but considering the current state of the castle, I'm guessing that didn't work out. Oh, hey. Well, he killed a couple vampires, and he's purified this water. Did that water just heal me? Oh, hell yes. Can I break the candles? I can. Hello. You're fucking tall. Glory to you, Arima. Someone filled this fountain with healing water. Drink as much as you please, Arima. It's far too strong for me. Expect a good fight ahead if the master is mightier than these thralls. My blood burns in anticipation. A good fight ahead, you say. Sounds like I might need to save. Well, there's a blue door. Let's try real quick. Can we... I mean, we have to use the receptacle of the blood door, so I think casting the magic at the blue door itself is going to be pointless. Compare it symbol A. Ah. Does that open these doors now? Yeah. Which means I don't have to worry about my saving because both these blue doors are now open and I can go out and save right away before going and fighting the master of the castle or whatever. Man, I'd love it if I can just break a few more objects. It looks like the hilt is very close to leveling up. Maybe we can actually hit a ectoblasm with them. Uh, and it immediately cursed me. 
Because of course it did. Well, I guess we can probably level it up around the the base, right? It took one plant, literally one plant, whenever we came back here to get this thing leveled. Enhanced weapon. Yes! Fucking yes! A dark steel sword that flame, emits a flame like blade. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to make that our new main weapon. I know it's the wrong element or whatever. And we'll put our crossbow on our secondary weapon. Okay, here's my idea for what we're going to do. Now that we have the fire sword, we are going to go back to the swamp and see about killing a Dullahan. The Fetid Mire. Dullahan, we're out for your head. Wait, no, not your head. You've already lost that. Something more important to you, like your horse. The crossbow is going to test my patience on leveling it up. I bet this is more effective. Yes. The answer is a very, very hard yes. Time for the epic fight. How does the block, the setback block on this? It's not rape your good. Gallows jig. Wow, he does so much damage. I don't know if I've hurt him yet. I honestly can't tell if I'm hurting him. Okay, I'm hurting him a little bit. Okay, we'll save our mana for getting rid of the pumpkins. Oh boy. Come back here. I don't know if we can kill this guy. Yeah, I don't think we can kill that guy. We did like no damage to him. Absolutely no damage to him. And he was apparently immune to being set on fire. I do believe that's going to be where we have to end for today. We will definitely be covering more of this in the future. I've heard that it's a relatively short game. Um, even if you do 100% the game. So I expect to have most of the game, if not all of the game done in nine or nine or 10 episodes. And at the end, we're going to make a little movie out of the whole thing and uh, cover the entire game in one episode. So if you do miss some of the episodes, keep an eye, eye, eye out for a Let's Play all of Lunacid video that will be coming in the future. If you guys have enjoyed, you know, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or if you have any answers for any of the things that I got stuck on um, that I actually asked about, because I enjoy being stuck to a certain degree. And if you want to see this or any more hard games, subscribe. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye.